Hi guys, it's Joan Gregerson here and in this short video I'm going to show you how to set up your Lead Pages account to uh, gather um, an email address and then how to hop back over to MailChimp and have an, uh, an automated message go out. So in this case I used Zoom. So let me show you how I set this up. So uh, First, I'm going to go into my lead page here. And the way I have this set up here is there's a couple of places where this is the button where I want somebody to click. So I just set this up by adding a button here. So when you click on the button, it asks you what you want to have for a link. And so what I used was uh, what I did was a lead box. So you can set up a new lead box. Okay, so now I'm in the lead box and now I need to set up some details about the lead box. So you can do all the formatting, but this is the part that tends to trip people up. So I'm just gonna click on this, this, this box where they're putting in their info and then you'll see this area that comes up to the left. And so what I did is um, I named it right here and then you can add an integration. And so what I used was I put in, um, I added my MailChimp service here. And once you choose your, whatever your email provider is, which Hopefully earlier you have done um, an integration in lead pages so that you've already linked it up to your MailChimp account. So if you've done that and you refresh the list, it's going to show you all of the different um, all the different email lists that you have set up in your email service provider. So you just pick the one that is the the correct one and so I already set that up. Is that, did I just mess it up or I don't know? Let's see here. Well, I'll just go ahead and click one here. Or not, maybe it's set up from before. Okay, and so then uh, notify me. So this is the other thing that you can do where you just say, just send me an email every time somebody signs up. If you get a lot of signups, that would be annoying. You wouldn't want to do that. But when you're just starting out, that's kind of nice. Then if your automation, if you're not sure it's working, at least you're getting the direct notification. Okay, so this is the integration. So the next thing is the fields. And so it says, choose what info you want from your visitors. So I said first name and email. And then next you're going to go to the follow-up. So... Lead Pages is going to start by saying they're going to give a default. If you haven't set up a thank you page, it's just going to send you to this default Lead Pages thank you, which is, you know, it's a great backup to have, um, but it's not really useful. So what you want to do is create a thank you page and then lead page is going to ask you, oh, of all the lead pages that you have with us, which one of these do you want us to check? Or do you want us to send people to? Okay, so, uh, and I think that's pretty much it. Let me look back here. So follow up. Or you can send somebody to a different URL or just have them remain on the same page. And also, this is kind of cool if, if they're signing up for something and you wanted to give them a free PDF, you can set that up as well here. So we're not going to look at that at the moment. Okay, so that is basically what you need to do. I don't know if I changed anything. I'm just going to say close without saving. 
So then if you pop over to your email service provider, so this, this isn't active anymore for me, so, but I'm just going to still be able to show this to you. So the way I set this up was I started a new campaign uh, an, under automation in, um, but I started a new automation in MailChimp and I set the trigger. So immediately after subscribers join my list. So that's my trigger. And then it's going to start with this first email. So as I said, this is no longer active, but you can see here. So then in the email, I just have Thanks for registering for the Nourish session. And then I put their name in here. And then I just send them the, the link to join by Zoom right here. So hopefully that helps you figure out how to integrate lead pages with Zoom. You can get a lot fancier. So in that automation series, um, or you can set up a separate campaign that sends another email. Um, but that's that's how you would do it. By the way, if you are interested in transforming your eating or your life, then please join me for a free training at foodfreedomnaturally.com. Bye.